Hi Aquarius <laughs> and Pixel. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Are you expecting a surprise? I feel like you might. Now let's go see what she knocked off the table. Aquarius, we're already starting quite different for you. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what, what did you knock off? Oh, we got Saturn Aquarius. This is very interesting. I had a dream last night about Saturn. I had a voice tell me to look at my Saturn, <laughs> my birth chart. So maybe this is for you as well. I mean, as soon as I turn on the camera, this flies out. And there's no coincidences, right? And all this morning, I've been researching and reading about Saturn, and now here I am talking to you about it. So I have Saturn at 29 degrees. And so wherever Saturn is in your chart might be of particular interest to you at this time. And I was reading about what that means at 29 degrees, and it can be a very difficult energy to work with whenever you have a planet at 29 degrees. Now, Saturn's about structure. So you might be feeling like things are too structured for you, or you're falling into a sense of structure. Now, Saturn's also one of your co-ruling planets. So you like to break structures as the archetype of Aquarius. But on the other hand, you could get into this shadow space of feeling too controlled, feeling too structured. So let's find out what Spirit is trying to tell us here with this Saturn and structure, which is of course also Capricorn energy. All right, Pixel, we got to get you off the table now. This is not your reading. This is Aquarius's reading. If you can stay here, if you, <laughs> if you give me some space, bug. Oh, guys, <laughs> you're so cute. How could I get rid of you? <laughs> okay, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> and then, and then it's attack time, right? So cute until she attacks. <laughs> Go on, Pixel. All right, Aquarius, are you still here? <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. This is very interesting energy here. What's going on with you? Structure. Well, I do actually, I feel like you're holding something together. Great. Oh, man. Tarot readers should do like blooper videos. I feel like that might be pretty interesting. What goes on behind the scenes of a tarot reading? Okay, and this is a cert this is an unstructured reading, <laughs> right? Okay, Aquarius. Obviously, spirit wants you to witness this for one reason or another. So let's find out here. Should we do a past, present, future? What kind of spread should we do? Well, let's see what the, the Saturn energy is all about. Tell me what the Saturn energy is all about for the Aquarius that are here. Now, I, I didn't do the whole thing. The Fool. If this is a general reading, it might not resonate with you. Take the parts that do, leave the rest, all of that kind of stuff. Um, if it does resonate, I'll probably do an extended. And if I do, that link will be in the description box below. All right, Aquarius. The Fool coming up for what this is all about. It's about a new beginning, the wheel of fortune in reverse. I'm hearing turning back the hands of time with the ace of swords. Okay, this feels very galactic. I'm gonna have to just go out on a limb here and hope that you come on the journey with me because I am getting this like feeling here that what we're talking about, the Hierophant, is a channeling of knowledge, yes where something needs to be said in the present moment that wasn't said in the past. This could be by you or someone else. <sighs> Tell me more about this Saturn energy for Aquarius. It's almost like something's been stuck in time the moon in reverse and needs to be revealed or needs to come into the light. Oh, there are three things that will always be seen. The moon, the sun, and the truth. I read that today. Interesting. Aquarius. Let me get some more cards out here and see 
what I get. Very unstructured reading, but it's kind of fun. It allows the energy to flow in a different way. And I feel like that's a message for you as well. Don't push the energy, you know, where it doesn't want to go. Don't try to force anything here. You know, maybe you want to take off. I'm hearing, okay, take some time off or take off somewhere. But there's like, you open some space up and some room up in your routine for something new to come in. If you're used to doing something a certain way, try doing it a different way. Here, let me look at these cards here. I feel like you're struggling against something. Like it feels very Saturnian, like restricted here. You're struggling because you're trying to do something in a very particular way here, Aquarius. And it's just not working. It's not bringing in the things you want to bring in, whether that's money or some kind of union, partnership, understanding, compassion, I'm hearing. So you need an entirely new approach. And it has something to do with something that was unsaid in the past. Maybe this is something that you wanted to say or do in your career in the past and you didn't end up doing. Ten of Swords, maybe it was in relationship to some kind of betrayal here where you got cut off or got cut short or weren't able to speak your truth or say your truth. Tell me more about the moon in reverse, spirit. The empress in reverse. Hearing this is going to, yeah, Six of Cups in reverse is only for a few of you, but I'm hearing salty relationship with the mother. Then I'm seeing the emperor in reverse. Could be both parents, the father here, and the Six of Cups in the middle. For some of you, there's something here about either the archetype of the mother and father that you need to consider, masculine and feminine energies that guide you, I'm hearing, or your relationship to your actual parents when you were a child. Like, was it really structured? Did it feel really Saturnian? Were you allowed to do things in different ways? Or maybe there was a lack of structure here with the tower. It's time for change, I'm hearing. But you have some anxiety about that. Okay, if it's not about the parents and the inner child type stuff, what else is this about? It could be about a connection, a divine connection, a soulmate connection you had with someone here. And um, the truth has been felt, I'm hearing, and discovered, felt and realized, but hasn't been spoken. Daughter of Pentacles and the Five of Swords in reverse. Whatever wasn't said, and this could be somebody else's energy, right? So keep that in mind. But it's like whoever didn't say anything, they felt like they were doing that. Um, Because somebody told them to do that or taught them something about something. Like, I'm getting this very specific example. Doesn't have to be your situation at all, but I'm just trying to ground the feelings here. And I'm getting that advice of like when you deal with a narcissist, right? That you should go no contact. This is the, the thing that's popping into my head. It's like you or somebody else learned that and decided I'm going to go no contact. I'm not, or gray rock or whatever, and I'm not going to fight with this person or with this situation, but there's still some energy that's stuck here in the past, that something that needed to be said, which I'm not saying you need to speak to a, a person that you potentially don't wanna to talk to, but there's still a truth that needs to come out in some way, mother of swords in reverse, perhaps even just to yourself, or you need to talk more about your experience. Okay, tell me more about this new opportunity with the Fool. This new approach I'm hearing. Justice. <laughs> yeah. Father of Swords in Reverse. Tell me more about the Father of Swords in Reverse.
Capricorn falling away. Something's been illuminated here about the past. What? Five of Pentacles. Father of Wands and the Son of Wands. I feel like this is somebody's expectation here to act. I feel like you were dealing with someone who is pretty, I'm hearing crazy. I don't know. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. Take it or not, <laughs> but I'm hearing and I'm seeing 11 or oh, one there. Um, so one, 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 but I'm hearing that yes, someone in your past here was acting a little bit crazy, even maniacal for some of you. And you didn't you use, you didn't entertain it. You didn't confront it. You decided not to engage in that battle, potentially because you felt like they were more powerful than you in some way, or because you just wanted to rest and heal from this sense of betrayal here, the devil behind that. But what you didn't know is that, or what you didn't know then, but maybe you know now, or you're about to know, is that somebody was suffering quite a bit here which isn't an excuse at all, but it's something that's now being understood in a different way. Three of Swords, yeah, that somebody was really upset about whatever happened here. So tell me more about the justice here for what Aquarius needs to do. The Magician in Reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. This is telling me to stop manifesting something that's not coming through, but I don't feel like that's what you're trying to do. You may need to cut some cords here with someone who's trying to manifest you towards them or manifest a certain outcome here. There's something that's bound and stuck in this I'm hearing Saturnian universe. Let's get more astrology cards. This is not like an Aquarius reading. Usually your readings are fairly straightforward. This feels like more like a strange Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio deep dive into some investigative waters. This is what, or Pisces even. More Scorpio though. There's something like, something underneath the surface here. root we have yeah it's like whatever's going on here in this reading is the root of this uh, of the energy that you're in now so something needs to be uprooted gemini taurus Aries. It's interesting because those are in succession, right? Well, they're coming out backwards, actually. They're going counterclockwise. Are you still with me, Aries? I feel like, or Aries, sorry, Aquarius. I feel like this is such an odd reading. Counter, counterclockwise. No. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Counterclockwise. So that's like going backwards again. Going backwards on the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like there's something you need to move through here. Your third house, your second house, your first house. Or the energies of Gemini, wherever Gemini, Taurus, and Aries are in your chart. Something about communication. Then stability and groundedness. I'm hearing home and hearth, even though that's more cancer. But I'm hearing that with Taurus. And then identity and acting on uh, acting from a place of truth. I 
I think this has to do with somebody's living situation as well. There's something that needs to be said about someone's living situation. Can I get a little bit more on this trio here? Ace of Pentacles. I'm, I'm hearing money there. The Empress in reverse. The Hierophant. For some of you, like, uh, there's some money in question here. Or somebody uh, wasn't honest about money that they had. Yeah, they were... Um, Well, I'm hearing like they were using logic to avoid an argument about money. I don't know, Aquarius. I feel like this is very specific, probably only for a few of you. Let's try to get some clarity about the past, present, future. And then uh, we'll go into your extended and see what this is all about because I don't know. Hopefully it's making sense to you. For Aquarius. course if this reading doesn't resonate you could check out your past Aquarius reading they're timeless readings so the whole library is there for you you know feel if you feel guided to watch a reading from I don't know like six months ago go ahead and do that I'm hearing messages everywhere there's messages everywhere I feel like there are messages everywhere though like literally messages everywhere mother of pentacles Okay, no, we're doing a past, present, future. We're not doing that. We're, we need some structure here a little bit. I'm hearing universe. We need a little bit of structure here. Just a little bit. Thank you. Three of pentacles. The tower. This is in the past. Give me one more. The daughter of cups. The present. The star in reverse, the mother of swords in reverse. This is you not being in your full, you know, power and potential because there's something you're holding back on. Hermit in reverse. You've gone really quiet on something. Or you're internalizing something you don't need to be internalizing. Oh, in the future, I see you definitely uh, saying something. You're delivering some kind of message here. Ooh, it's coming out pretty. That's your new beginning. Thank you. Okay, we've come, we've come full circle here. All right, so I got it now. So let's, interestingly enough, go backwards here a little bit. So the future, I'm seeing a message here that is really swift, okay? There's a lot of communication here. I feel like you're clearing something up here for someone or to with somebody here. And it's, it is about uh, breaking out of a bind, breaking out of a structure, going against some form of control. I'm hearing coercion, hopefully not. But there is something you're doing here and you're going to come across really strong. I feel like you're freeing yourself from some either metaphysical structure or psychological space you were in, emotional like restriction. In the present moment, you're internalizing something. You need to release it. This this screams to me of like, I need to release. I need to release the truth. Even if it means uh, seeing, seeing the truth. I need to release seeing the truth. I don't know what that means, Aquarius. In the past here, we have a, a massive upheaval, an explosion after trying to work with someone to bring some kind of order or to bring some kind of stability and security, potentially with two other people, could have been one, but there was an effort here to work together, to, to have a common goal, to, to bring some foundation or security or stability here. And that did not work. That went south real quick. But it allowed you to kind of go in a new path or it opened a window to a new energy space for you. I feel like a little bit of frustration because it's like in that moment in the past, 
you had, I'm hearing a vista, you had a whole new vision open up of what could happen, of what you could do. And now in the presence, like the energy feels blocked or frustrated. You're going to break out of it soon enough. And that's going to be that new beginning. Strength behind that. You're going to gain some strength and empowerment here. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. If this resonates and you want to come along to the extended, I'm going to do a Celtic cross. So we'll get into like the past, what you learned from the past, your strength, what's coming up in the near future, how people are seeing you, the outside energy you're dealing with, the outcome, those kinds of things. So we'll go deeper into the storyline. But if this is where you go, I love you so much, Aquarius, and just know that you can do anything you want to do. <laughs> See you next time.